Hey all, this is my second tutorial. I keep on getting questions asked to me about how to switch things with the new UI. I made one uh, earlier with my mage, um, and I took a shortcut, I shouldn't have done that. But I'm gonna try and see if I don't do that now. I'm on my shaman. Um, as you can see, I have three bars that are set right in front, and they've been basically uh, filled up as soon as I logged in. Um, I have two bars on the side, the same thing happened to them. Uh, the area where uh, my main self-portrait is at is on the, the left hand side and my target is on the right hand side. All right. There's going to be a lot of changes that I because I don't really like it uh, like I said, I already have um, my settings the way I like them, and I can actually import them. Um, but for now, I'm going to go through step by step. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into options. Um, you want to look at controls, and you want to make sure sticky targeting is on. You want to make sure you have auto loot on you don't need a key for auto loot to work so you don't have to put anything on there if it's auto looting it will auto loot automatically now you have a choice right now my bags are set so that they're individual bag and uh... I'll show you. those are individual bags to combine the bags and then it'll become one big bag like that. I really don't like that. It, 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 it makes it harder for me, uh, not easier. So, I'm and um, so that's one thing. Uh, you can set up an interact key. Basically, this this will let you hit a button, and it will automatically interact with any NPC which you're near with too. So, if you're standing next to an NPC and there's a bunch of people standing on top of it, and you can't find the NPC, all you got to do is face the NPC, hit that button, and you can interact with it. I don't have that set up. I'm not really worried about that. Um, my mouse is fine, my camera is fine. Normally I don't make any changes to that. So that's up to the individual if you want to make changes to it. Next step, interface. Here you can actually put check marks in at, so that it will show what sort of uh, look you have on your, on your when you're looking at different people, at uh, targets and everything like that. Uh, you can see nameplates, you can see friendly players' names, things like that. I'm not making any changes to this. I really don't need to make any changes to them. It's your preference, okay? Um, status text would be one thing I would change. You would want to see both uh, percentage and numeric value on the status text. This lets you see the percentage, your health percentage, and uh, the amount of life you have, and the same thing with the mana. Okay. Also, if it's not set, you should probably have that set to exclude party chat. It really does help during quests, uh, raids, and quests, and everything like that. And if you have quest objectives, mouse over set. It should be quest objectives, mouse overs, and target. Okay. Now here's, if this is specifically for raiders, people who actually are raiding, okay? Um, you should set up display incoming heals, display power bars, display class colors, okay? You don't have to display pets because normally, normally in a raid nobody heals your pets. You heal your own pet. Uh, display main tank and assist, show debuffs, 
and you can change it so that it only shows the debuffs that you can dispel but normally I'd rather see all the debuffs so that I know what what's happening to the people around me all right and then here you want to show percentage okay and that's it so when you set up your uh, your raid frames these options will will actually be used now on your action bars right now I have three action bars um, actually I have five action bars um, action bar one you can't really do anything with it doesn't you can't turn it off but action bars two three and four and five you can turn off so for somebody who wants a minimal I, uh, UI and doesn't want a lot of bars that's how you do it you basically turn off all the bars now for example if you want to have at least three bars on your screen and that's it you could do it that way leave three bars up you want all, all eight bars up you can do that as well the more bars you have the more real estate you take up you can see three bars showed up there two bars over here now here's a trick you don't have to you don't have to do this but when you're configuring your bars and you're configuring your screen you want to use the UI scale so basically normally the UI scale is set and it's somewhere around a hundred and that means everything looks huge okay see how everything looks huge um, basically set it up turn it on and bring it down to 64 now you have a lot more space to work in later on once you're finished making all your changes you can bring that up sl that slider up slightly and see where it fits best and where you feel more com comfortable with all right for me i'm going to leave it at 64 Sorry about that, I got a call just now. <laughs> Next, if you want, you can turn off music. I usually turn it off, I don't want to hear the music while I'm doing stuff. And you can actually turn off other things which um, might be annoying. Ambient sound, uh, enable reverb. Um, you can actually turn off the constant uh, info about errors the error speech basically uh, it's here somewhere I just have to find it but in, in essence you basically can turn it off also right here where it says output device uh, you should choose your actual output device not just system default the reason for this is that if at any point you get upgraded uh, by Microsoft you might actually lose your output device. Same thing with uh, video card. If, it, if anywhere here it says the name of your video card, you should actually choose your video card. All right. Um, down here where it says network, uh, normally we have a check mark up here, optimized network for speed. And then if you're into rating, you want to you wanna actually put in advanced combat logging it'll actually help if you're trying to log everything going back up uh, right now I'm using 64 by 64 mouse so if you're like myself who has trouble finding the mouse every once in a while a mouse that's small like this will make it harder for you so you want to make it bigger so that it makes it easier for you to find the mouse okay a couple of other things here that they added uh, hold and release basically lets you hold a button and actually uh, uh, will begin casting the spell by holding down the key when you release the spell it'll stop releasing uh, uh, stops tossing the spells so basically you can use that
Oh, right here, you can actually make the character names of everyone bigger by moving this slider. And as you can see, I, I, I can make all the characters names bigger by doing that. You really don't want to do it because you'll get a lot of stuff on your screen, but it's, an, it's a nice effect, actually. Here's a big thing. You want to take the check mark out of here, character specific key bindings. You want to go into action bar, and you want to make sure that each one of these keys from 1 through 12 is set properly. When I first went in on my first character, I didn't have any of this set. So I had to actually put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 0, and uh, the two symbols for 11 and 12. All right? It's important you do this because then you won't be able to hit your buttons. Uh, you'll have to actually click them. Okay? Another nice little trick that you can do with movement keys, um, really a lot of people don't turn left and right. They strafe left and right. So set your A and D key to strafe left and right. That way you don't have to worry about moving, you know, turning. And uh, you're always going to be strafing. It's, a, it's an old uh, trick from uh, playing arena and playing Unreal Tournament that we used to do. Um, another trick is targeting. In targeting, uh, you have two choices. You can have target nearest enemy, it can be tab, right? Or you can set it up as the R key. So if you're if you're not really left-handed, and if you have trouble with your pinky like I do, basically set up the R key as your tab key. It's the closest key to the D, and it makes it a lot easier um, to actually tab the next target. Um, you can still set this as your tab, uh, your tab as well. Okay. Oh, while we're at it, um, not sure if it's here. I think it is. Uh, let me see. Under miscellaneous. No, it's not here. It doesn't look like it's here. Let me look a little bit further. Um, not in there. Um, so it must be on the audio. That's voice chat. So what you want to do is you want to set your, put your voice chat to push to talk. And you want to set it to whatever your push to talk key is. The same one that you use on Discord or uh, Mumble or whatever it is that you use for your uh, your guild, that's what you should use. So for me, it's left alt F8. So um, basically, I set that. The reason why I did that is that if you bring in a pug, the pug might not want to get on Discord, but he can seriously, or she, he or she can get seriously get on the Blizzard voice chat and still hear you. This is basically all the changes that you can really need while you're raiding or you're, or you're making changes to your UI under options, okay? So right now, that's it. That's all the changes under options. Now I'm going to go back to the actual edit. So I'm going to click on edit, edit mode, and you're going to see everything is... Uh, all over the place basically all right you have panels that are on top of panels you have bars that are all over the place and basically it's a mess okay so the first thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna hit is the mini uh, mini map I don't like that the mini map header is on top so I'm gonna put that underneath the reason for that is it makes it easier for me to see those words that are there since it's so small okay um, so that's done. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the boss frames from where they're at. 
and I'm gonna make the objective window a little bit smaller. And you can see that I was trying to move it, it wasn't moving, now I made it. I moved it a little bit and boom, it changed. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna save this well I'm not gonna make any changes yet I have a profile like I said so but I'm gonna save this as modern and I'm gonna give it a new name I'm gonna call it uh, temp so now the objective window is that you saw that it was actually coming out of the blue Blue mark, blue screen. Now it's actually uh, truncated. It's not doing that any longer. And now it's permanently small. Now I want to put the boss frames underneath. And I'm going to keep it the same size. I'm not going to try and change anything on it. Same thing with the buffs. Buffs, I'm not changing on them. I don't need to change anything on them. However, I will move the whole thing. A little bit to the side because I want these bars to be one on top of each other so this is bar 5 this is bar 4 I'm not happy about that I'm kind of picky about which bar goes where I'll show you a little trick that I'm that I'm gonna do later on so people were asking me you know uh, I, I want to get back to as close as possible to the original uh, blizzard bars so, as far as I understand, the blizzard bars are just lined up. So you have you have these all moving at once. You don't want that. So you want to separate them away from each other. And and while you're separating them, you're going to see that it's going to just keep on popping down, popping down, and you just move things. Don't worry about it. Don't panic about it. It's not going to break anything, you're not going to break anything, you're not going to lose anything. You're just basically moving things around. So, the original Blizzard bar, if I remember right, was somewhere around here. Okay? And what you want to do is, uh, normally you don't want to have the, the dragons on the side. So hide the dragons and uh, that way you have a bar by itself and then you want to put whatever second bar you want right next to it so this is bar 2 I'll put it right next to it alright and then uh, what is this, this is bar 3 I'll put bar 3 right on top of it bar 4 now bar 4 you can see is um, vertical so first you want to change it to horizontal and then you want to move it now you may say well those are, that's not all accurate that's not all centered I mean it's up to you what you want to do um, if you turn on grid it'll give you a line that you can go by the purple line in the middle is the center so you can put the bars right there right on the center now you have ba your basic um, blizzard build. You have four bars in a row basically and you have your basic blizzard build. All of these other bars you can turn them off, you don't have to look at them ever again. Okay? If you don't like them. Um, 
what I've noticed though is that the action bar one also has an action bar underneath it, which is the action bar two, the hidden action bar. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to to uh, disable the bar scrolling and actually empty out that second uh, action bar. So I'll do that in a second. I'm just going to start moving things around to make it a little bit neater. So the first thing I'll do is this is the talking head frame. Talking head frame is that frame that you get when you go into a raid or a dungeon um, where you have an NPC talking out loud or even a quest frame. So I'm going to put that all the way to the top. Okay. We cannot move the XP bar. That's why I've left a spot underneath the four bars and we cannot move the bags or the but micro buttons without uh, without an add-on so that's why I've, there's no way to move that around however the targets you can move easily around or the player frame you can move easily around and you can put it wherever you want so this is the player frame and if you notice it has a teardrop shape and this is the target frame You can use the grid to actually give you a better understanding of where you're going to be. Now here's the thing, you don't want to put it too close to your bars on the bottom because you want to put your cast bar underneath yourself. That way you, you have an idea of what's the, what you're casting. Also there's going to be a cast bar underneath your target so you want to always be able to see that. Focus frame um, you can leave it the size as it is, or you can make it larger. It's up to you. It's a preference. I normally put buffs on tops, and I make them larger. Same thing over here. I put buffs on top. You don't have the option of putting the buffs on top on this one, so probably the buffs are going to show underneath here. Hopefully, they won't be a problem. And they might not actually show. Um, but anyway, that, now I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to make any uh, big changes about that. Pet bar just going to put it in the center. Encounter bar, I'll put up here. Encounter bar is kind of like um, it's kind of like that extra power bar that you see sometimes in in uh, in different dungeons and stuff like that. It's also going to be where your vigor for um, for dragon flying is going to be. This is the vehicle exit button. So I'm going to put that right underneath or right next to my other bar. So this is for like a special vehicle. You hit that button, it'll drop you out of the vehicle. Possess bar, I have no idea what it is. I don't remember what it is. Um, I'm just going to put it on the opposite side just to be, you know, kind of. Uh, even on about, about it. Your chat frame, you can move it wherever you want. I'm just keeping it on this side because I really don't care about it right now. This is more for illustration purposes. Uh, extra ability is the extra action button that you'll get every once in a while. So I'm going to put it right here underneath my character. It's not that important right now. It doesn't really affect anything. HUD tooltips is basically your tooltip uh, for any spell or for any ability or for any item. It'll show up in this area. Okay. Now I have these three extra bars here. Like I said, I was going to keep it as simple as possible. But I'm going to make this change here so that you can see. So bar number five is here. Bar number six is here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch bar number six to a vertical bar as well. So now I have two bars there. And they don't fit perfectly. And you see that they're kind of overlapping. So what I want to do is I want to adjust the icon size, make it smaller. And you'll notice that these bars like to travel in packs. So don't get, don't get uh, you know, upset if you see one getting stuck to another one. It just happens. Okay? So originally it was at 100, I can make it 
really huge if I wanted to or I can make it smaller um, so I'll, I'll put it at 90 percent I'll do the same thing with the one underneath it just to make it evil even and now I have a lot more space okay Now bar set bar seven and eight again. I can I could move those two down here if I wanted to, or I can put them over here. Um, it's just a matter of how simple you want to make the UI. I can turn them off if I want to. Right. So for now, I'm going to turn them off. Uh, by the way, this character doesn't have a stance bar, so you'll notice the stance bar is here. Since this character doesn't have a stance bar, I'm just going to drop it right on top of the pep bar and then turn it off. Not going to worry about it at that point. Uh, like I said, I'm going to actually turn these guys off in a second. So I'll go to action bar setting and 7 and 8 are off and boom, they're not on the screen anymore. Now you can see how clean the screen looks like at this point. All right. Party frames, you can leave them where they are. They look like this. Um, let me make sure I save it. Uh, edit mode. Party frames can look like that, where you have an individual and you can see the health and it has basically the face of each type of class it's up to you or you can change it so that the party frame will use raid style frames and there that that means it just looks like a, a square you can also display a border around it. okay I don't know if you can see it very clearly on that side of the screen so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it over here to this side I personally when I raid or when I'm in a party I'd rather have it on on my right hand side um, so that I can see it clearer okay it's sorted by group not by role so that everybody in the group basically is there all right now raid frames is the big problem here when you do a 10 man raid you're fine when you do a 25 man raid you're fine but if you do anything bigger than 25 you're gonna have trouble see how much space it takes up the older frames made it a lot easier for you so for now uh, because this is kind of broken still I would suggest going with the horizontal group it takes up the least amount of space as it is and uh, it, it still gives you some of the functionality of the old one all right um, and you notice that I'm putting the raid frames right on top of the party frame because normally you don't use the raid at the same time that you're using the party so they're exclusive from each other they, it won't affect anything and this is a click-through window so you'll be able to click through it now you don't want the grid anymore you turn off the grid and you save it alright if you noticed I never turned on snap snap has been giving people problems so I never turned that on All right. I don't have any add-ons turned on for this ad this uh this tune. All my add-ons are turned off. Well, except for two. I'll turn those off right now. And as you can see, everything has been now here's the big issue. Like I said, my buttons are all messed up. I don't like the way that my buttons are. Okay, this is normally not how I have my buttons. Um, normally, I have all my abilities set in different, uh, different areas. Uh, so, when I'm fighting, I have 
these, these are my attacks, 1 through 12. And then above it I have my, uh, I guess, my self heals and anything else that I need. And then on, these si on this side I have my buffs, my self buffs, and anything, you know, major, like hero or um, my trinkets, things like that. Okay. I have my pets, uh, pets and uh, mounts up here, and my hearth. That's a pretty simple bar. But then I have this. These are things I had in my previous bars. So, since I don't like that second... one then go back into edit mode and hide not just the bar art but also the, the scrolling bar that's it that's simple blizzard UI right there all right now if you want to move uh, your your player frame back to the top you can do that that's not a big issue you can have it up there with your cast bar if you want to move your target let's say over here rather than down there you can do that as well it's not a big issue So now you have a simple blizzard bars on one side and target uh, your own your own bar uh, your own frame and your target right next to it. You can move it wherever you want. It's not that hard. You should probably at that point go in and select your talents. Don't do it beforehand. Select it now. And then save a profile for it. Okay? At that point, you want to save the profile because what's going to happen is that for every profile that you save, the bars um, will actually have different spells in it. And you have the option of either keeping the bars the, arranged the way they are or actually switching the bars into different configurations. So I'm going to call this temp. And now I have a temp. I can click I can click on that down arrow and you'll notice that when you put your your, your mouse over uh, the the temp there's a little gear here. And if you put a check mark under use shared action bars, from this point forward, anybody that uses temp, their action bars will look exactly the way that you've set it up. It doesn't matter the configuration. All right. So the next let's say the next specialization that I choose, the next spec that I choose, let's say instead of elemental I choose enhancement, it should have the same settings that I have right now. So I'm going to activate it. I haven't done anything with enhancement on this character, so I don't even know if it has any spells set up. But as soon as I go in and I select, um, well it should have, Let me see, hold on a second. Hmm. Oh, there's a bug. It should have actually worked.
should have given you the ability to drop use that drop down menu to use that temp um, but it didn't I'm not sure why it didn't work uh, but at this point that's the biggest issue right there oh by the way there are a couple of things that uh, are new with the talents once you've chosen your talents you can actually click here and click on missing from action bar and it'll tell you which talent is missing from action bar so right now I don't have my uh, windrush totem I don't have it on the action bar so that's how it told me that by putting a little blue mark there I'll do it again I don't have any other blue marks so that's done okay but again it should actually go in and actually uh, work properly. It didn't, though. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it's because uh, Blizzard changed some of the functionality, or it's not working yet. I'm not sure. Now remember, this is my this is my uh, my profile temp. I don't like temp. Temp is not really the one that I I set up for myself. So I'm going to show you what I normally have as my main profile. This is what I normally have as my main profile. But you notice, I still don't have all the bars. I normally run with eight bars. And why is that? Because there's no way of uh, it actually knowing that I want bars seven and eight on because I had them off before. So now I'm going to turn them on. And I should have a bar 7 and 8 there. Bar 7 and 8 are right there, right where, the, where I want them to be. Now, I've had people say to me, well, they can't move their chat window. They're trying to move their chat window. And uh, if you notice, you can actually get to the edit mode on the chat window. They're trying to move their chat window. They can't do it. They don't know what's going on. They, they're trying to put it over here, and they're trying to expand it. And the way that you expand the chat window is you see this little corner right here? It, when you put your mouse over it, it becomes blue. You can expand it that way. All right? And then you have to save it. save it mix it out your chat window is now there All right. now if I exit out of the game log out it may or may not work I'm going to disable all add-ons going back in um, Did work okay some people I know basically had problems where they tried to to make that change they couldn't do it I personally like it where it was So now you'll 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 see that there are lots of different options that you can go for. Now I've turned on a couple of add-ons. I'll turn them on again, and um, I'm just going to turn on details because it's an add-on a lot of people use. I'm just turning on the basic uh, things that I use in, in on details. And as you can see, the details is working fine.
there is also another add-on that you can turn on which is called which is called move any all right move any actually lets you move your bag bars and your micro button bars the only issue that I have with it is that uh, it puts an extra question mark on the micro button bars the reason why the author says is he wanted to make it uh, even you know um, rather than just 11 icons he wanted to make 12 icons uh, you can actually scale the you can actually use this to move the bar and move the bags and wherever you move the bag it'll stay there as you can see my bags are in a different position now I uh, had already configured it that's why it's already there Here's the vehicle button. Durability button or durability. This is the looking for group eyeball. Um, this is zone ability. Uh, not sure what skill bars are. He's still working on this, so there's a lot of issues that he's still working on. But you can actually make changes to the flyout where the flyout is for the raid and there is an FPS uh, um, counter so you can actually watch that if you want to see it oh uh, by click right clicking on it you can actually make scale you can actually scale the the bars up so I can make the bags bigger or smaller I can make the buttons bigger or smaller with it as well All right. there's a lot of add-ons out there I'm not going to go through each add-on of course but I've been able to use um, DBM I've been able to use with Goras I've been able to use Raider IO uh, there's actually one called CT mod that I used uh, quite often um, but it, it, it basically does a lot of the things that I'm doing with the UI right now so I don't really need it however I do recommend the cursive I do recommend uh, GTFO if you're rating uh, I do recommend uh, too long didn't read missions and venture plan if you are using the uh, mission tables still um, I do recommend rare scanner and um, yeah there's a lot of different add-ons which basically are providing essential tools um, that Blizzard has not included in their product yet in the future though they may do that Before putting add-ons in or turning them on, I would suggest you you basically uh, remove everything inside your interface, remove your WTF folder, remove everything, and start fresh. Do your changes to your screen and everything. Save it, then add your add-ons, then add everything on top of that. That way, you know everything is fresh and everything is working right remember for every error that you have that you're not catching that's a bit slower that you're playing the game and for every error that you have that you're not catching basically it's a chance that you get disconnected because the game will say hey look you're, you're tossing too many errors I'm gonna crash and boom that happens to you you don't want that when you're going into a raid or PvP or anything like that, there are add-ons that you don't need, so turn them off. Like, for example, Auctioneer. If you're just hanging around the auction house, that's fine, but in a raid, you don't need that. In PvP, you don't need that. So turn those things off. You have the ability to do that. You can't be lazy anymore. There's no reason to be lazy.
okay hopefully this tutorial was helpful um, if you have any questions you can always try to contact me I'm on Malfurion my main is called Greenstone I'm on uh, high gel uh, my main there is charge stone um, in any case have a great day hopefully this helps